in recorded mode. All right, let's go and set ourselves into our seats, whether you have a pillar onto your mat. I always like to check in with our base, taking our right hand, going underneath the right thumb, shifting our weight over to the left hand side, using our fingertips to find the sits bone. Once we find that sits bone, pulling the flesh back and then setting that sit bone down on the right side. Doing the same on the left, moving our weight onto the right side, using the fingertips to find that sits bone, pulling the flesh back and setting ourselves down, giving our lower back a nice foundation here. We can go ahead and close our eyes. Begin to tune into the sensation of that breath coming into the nose. And that exhale leaving the nose. Inhaling nice and gentle, expanding that belly. And exhaling, pressing into that core, exhaling out the nose, nice and gentle as well. I'd like us to take a few breaths here, inhaling through the nose. And as we exhale out the mouth, making a little uh, three more of these, inhaling through the nose. Uh, feeling your body just start to relax. Inhaling again. Uh, Last one. I always like to open my classes with the mantra of Om. The three part syllable of A, ah, O, oh, and M. Mm. A ah being the creation of this moment, O oh being the sustaining of the moment, and M mm being the completion of the moment. A good reminder for us to stay present here in this class today. We'll chant this mantra three times. Inhaling through the nose again. And exhaling out the nose. Inhaling for mantra. Inhaling for mantra. And let this be a reminder for us to be present before we open our eyes and begin our practice. I'd like us to just slowly begin by starting at the bottom of the feet Noticing the conditions of the body right now, what you're feeling, maybe where you're holding tension. Moving from the bottom of the feet into the ankles, into the calves, up into the thighs. And slowly going up your body and scanning, just paying attention to what's going on inside of your body at this moment. Still having that nice gentle breath in and that gentle breath out as you do so. Just taking a few more moments to see how you're arriving this morning on your mat. Taking note of these, remembering these as we come back to them throughout the practice to see the work that we're doing. Go ahead and begin to slowly blink our eyes back open. Trying to not overload the eyes here as they have been closed for a while. You can go ahead if you have a pillow under your bum, moving it off to the side, and we can bring ourselves to standing. I see a puppy, I think. <laughs> All right. Looks like you guys are there. Great. We'll go ahead and bring our feet to with um, hips distance, checking in with the base of our feet first, lifting our toes up off the mat, spreading them as wide as we can, settling them down, and then lifting those heels just one in, uh, inch off the mat and settling them down. We go ahead and put a slight bend in our knees here, pressing into the outsides of our feet, internally rotating those thighs. Hands to the hips, drawing that belly in. Legs are nice and firm here. <clears throat> Rotating those shoulders back. Gonna pinch those shoulder blades together. Let's bring our arms nice and long here, reaching those fingertips towards the floor. 
palms facing inwards towards the thighs. A little bit of a bend in the elbow, not locking the elbows here. We should have some nice activation in our legs, activation in our arms here, really drawing those fingertips towards the floor. Firm core here, bringing our gaze up slightly, tucking the chin and then bringing our gaze back to, um, back to a neutral position. Should feel nice activation here from the bottom of our leg, or from our legs all the way to the back of our neck. And we're inhaling here. And exhaling. Inhaling, feeling that strength in the legs, the core and the arms. Exhaling, seeing if those fingertips can go a little bit more, making sure those shoulder blades are still pinching together. Three more rounds of breath here, inhaling. And exhaling. Two more breaths, inhaling. And exhaling, really reaching those fingertips towards the floor. One more big inhale. Exhaling, drawing those fingertips as if they wanted to touch the floor. And on the bottom of the breath, we can go ahead and relax. Shake out those legs, shake out those arms. We'll go ahead and we're gonna find ourselves into Tadasana, this time holding ourselves for seven rounds of breath. Again, starting with the base of our feet, hips distance apart, heels are lifting one inch off the ground, settling them back down. Lifting those toes up off the mat, spreading them as wide as we can and settling them back down. A little bit of a bend in those knees, really activating the caps here, activating the thighs, the image of the kneecaps coming up towards the hip flexors. We want to draw in that belly, tucking the tailbone, rotating those shoulders back, pinching them together. Arms are going to come long next to the sides, palms facing towards the thighs, fingertips reaching towards the floor. We're going to be inhaling, bringing that gaze up slightly and tucking our chin. Should feel that activation from the back of our legs all the way to the back of our neck. Legs are firm, core is firm, arms are, arms are strong here. A little bit of bend in the knee and a little bit of bend in the elbows. And we're inhaling here. And exhaling. Inhaling, feeling that breath come in. As you exhale, feeling that strength in your legs, feeling that strength in your core, welcome Erica. Feeling that strength in your, um, in your arms as well. Four more rounds of breath here, inhaling. Exhaling, feeling that strength, feeling all of the muscles tense in your body, feeling that relaxation in your face though. Inhaling, and exhaling. Two more. Last one, breath here, inhaling. And on your exhale, feel free to relax that body and go ahead and shake out those legs, shake out those arms. We're gonna have the same firmness in our legs as we have before. Again, finding that foundation, making sure that Eric knows where we're at as well. We're gonna lift those heels up off the mat again, one inch, settling them down, lifting the toes up off the mat, spreading them as wide as we can, settling them down. Slight bend in the knees, activating those calves, activating those thighs, drawing the belly in. This time, we're gonna rotate those shoulders back, pinching them together, and now we're gonna bring our arms up to a T position here. I want you to have the image of two imaginary walls on either side. So you're pressing those fingertips into those imaginary walls while also drawing those uh, shoulder blades together, pinching that imaginary marble between those shoulder blades and pushing into those imaginary walls on either side. As you inhale, pressing into those imaginary walls, as you exhale, beginning to draw that muscular activation of the shoulders together, keeping those legs nice and firm, keeping that core nice and firm, breathing in. And exhaling. Inhaling, pressing into those walls. Exhaling, drawing those shoulder blades together. Keeping those legs firm, keeping that core firm. Two more rounds of breath here, inhaling. Exhaling. One more big breath here, inhaling, pressing into those walls. Exhaling, drawing the shoulder blades together, keeping the muscular activation of the arms and lowering the hands so that the palms slowly come to the outsides of the thighs. Really keeping that muscular activation here. Keeping the arms nice and firm, slight bend in the elbow still here. Find ourselves back in that sadasana position, drawing those fingertips so that they're reaching towards the floor. One more round of breath, inhaling. As you exhale, drawing those fingertips down a little bit more to the floor and allowing the muscles to relax and shaking that body out again. Good job. We'll go ahead and rotate those shoulders back a few times, a little bit after care and a few times forward. Go ahead and bring ourselves into standing staff pose now. Again, same formation in our legs, hips or feet are hips distance apart, checking in with our base, heels coming off the floor an inch, settling them down, lifting those toes, spreading them as wide as we can, slight bend in the knees, 
active core, active legs here, nice muscular activation in the thighs and in the calves. Bellies drawing together, rolling their shoulders back, and this time we're bringing our hands in front of us, inhaling, bringing those fingertips towards the ceiling. It wants to really reach those fingertips down low. We have that strong foundation in our legs that's still that bend in our knees, slight bend in the elbows. Inhaling, really reaching as if you wanted to touch the ceiling. Exhaling, feeling that core strong, legs strong, arms are strong. Full muscular activation throughout the body here. Really reaching, we're breathing as we inhale, expanding towards that ceiling and exhaling. Three more rounds of breath here. Inhaling, really reaching those fingers up and exhaling. Two more here. Inhaling, reaching those fingertips as much as you can. Exhaling. And last one here, reaching as much as you had the whole time. Keeping that muscular activation as you exhale and dropping the hands back in front of you. Fingertips going in front first into the uh, eye line and coming down so they slowly come to the outside of the thighs. Really trying to keep that muscular activation, seeing if those shoulder blades can stay pinching together as you're doing this. Getting back into that Tadasana position, still holding that muscular activation in the body and allowing that to release and shaking it out. Great job. Feet are still in the same hips distance apart. Legs are active here. This time we're gonna be sitting down into our chair. If you don't wanna have the arms, that's gonna be a little bit harder. We can just, <coughs> pardon me. We can just be sitting down in the chair, but if you want the full posture, feel free to have those arms up in the air. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have that belly drawing in. We're gonna make sure we're gonna to begin to bend and sitting into that chair. This is where we can begin to bring our arms up if we wish, inhaling, bringing those arms up. We just have a slight bend in our knees. We don't have to fully be sitting into our chair right here, but I really want us to be reaching those fingertips up as high as we can, really reaching towards the ceiling. And as you exhale on your next one, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Checking in with that belly, is that belly drawing in, really drawing in that belly right now, really reaching those fingertips as you're reaching up towards the, the ceiling. One more round of breath here, inhaling. See if you can go just a little bit deeper on this one. Really reaching those fingertips, sitting into that chair, drawing that belly in. And then on your next inhale, pressing to that feet, pressing down, oh, and allowing yourself to shake out. <coughs> Sending up nice and tall here. Ooh, very good. We'll go ahead and we'll take one more chair pose here. This time holding for about five rounds of breath. Again, checking in with our face, making sure our feet are hips distance apart. A little bit of a bend in the knees, elbows are back. Inhaling, drawing those fingers up, reaching those fingertips towards the ceiling. And then as we exhale, beginning to bend those, uh, bend those knees, sitting into the chair. Drawing that belly in right now, making sure that the lower back's nice and safe. Inhaling, reaching those fingertips up. And as you exhale, seeing if you can go a little bit deeper. Wherever you find yourself comfortable, we're going to stay here for another three rounds of breath. Inhaling, really reaching. Exhaling, making sure that belly's drawn in, seeing if maybe you can go a little bit deeper. Inhaling. Exhaling. Two more. Reaching, reaching, reaching those fingertips, sitting as much as you can down. And then as you inhale, pressing into those feet, dropping those arms, bringing your legs back to that straight and going ahead and doing a little bit of that aftercare, that shake. <coughs> Fantastic job. Go ahead and we'll play around with our balance a little bit now. Moving our weight over onto that left foot. We're going to, <coughs> we're going to find ourselves in tree pose. So we're going to have our hands on our hips right here. We're going to begin to torque out the right knee here, pointing it to the outside of the mat. We can begin by just taking the sole of the foot onto the calf. This is where we can start. If you feel like you have a little bit more space in your hip there and a little bit more flexibility, going down and reaching that right ankle, grabbing it and placing that heel close to the uh, groin area. <coughs> Go ahead and breathe there. This is where, I almost went over. <laughs> this is where we're gonna check in and make sure that our core is nice and strong, drawing that belly in, tight core here. We have a few options. We can bring our hands to center here, prayer hands. We can go ahead and bring our arms up to a Y. Or if you really are struggling with balance today, bringing it out to a T, again, having that image of drawing the shoulder blades together and pressing into those walls. I always encourage you to pick one place on the ground. Don't look at me because I'm moving around. Choosing one place on the ground or a wall behind you and using that as your drift to your focal point. This will help with your balance a lot. And if you're feeling really brave this morning, go ahead and close those eyes and see if you can balance with your eyes closed. Very difficult. Whoa, there I go. <laughs> anyway, 
go ahead and begin to move that knee so that it's pointing forward. We can drop our hands to our hips here. I want you to go as slowly as you can with as much control, moving that foot down, dropping it to the floor. Eventually the floor, the foot will make contact with the floor. Go ahead and step now onto that right leg. Go ahead and shake out that left leg as it's been doing a little bit of work. <sighs> Begin to find ourselves now with our weight on that right foot. Always keeping in balance, moving on to the left-hand side. Again, we can just cork that left leg out so that left knee is pointing to the outside of the mat. Starting with our, our, uh, the sole of our foot on the inside of our right calf. If you feel like you have a little bit more uh, flexibility in that hip, going ahead and grabbing that left ankle with the left hand, placing the sole of the foot on the inside of the thigh. I forgot to mention this in the last place. I want you to press that sole of your foot into the inside of your thigh and press that thigh into the sole of your foot, really creating that midline. Again, we have three options here, prayer hands in the middle, arms up at a Y, or for the easiest balance if you're struggling on this side, bring those out to a T. Balance posers are always good for our nervous system. It's nice, like I said, like on that last one, it's like a little massage for our nervous system. And of course, we're breathing here. I encourage us to check in with our core right now. Are you drawing that belly in, keeping that core nice and active? Staying here for two more rounds of breath, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. On this exhale, we can begin to draw that knee forward, pointing the knee first forward, and then as slowly as you can, dropping that leg down so that eventually the left foot will come down to the ground. And we can move the weight over on and shake that right leg out now. Shake out that left leg. I had a little bit of uh, inspiration from Heather. She did a nice little aftercare here. We're gonna draw that right knee up and we're gonna bring, or we're gonna interlace our fingers so that they tuck right underneath the, uh, right underneath the kneecap here. Standing up nice and tall, I want you to inhale, drawing that knee towards your chest and holding here. Taking those nice inhales and exhales. Inhaling, drawing that knee in as you inhale, exhaling, releasing it slightly. One more of these, inhaling. And as you exhale, dropping that right leg again, nice and slow with control back to the ground so that it matches next to the left foot. Moving on over to that left hand side, a little bit more of that aftercare. Interlacing those fingers, tucking them underneath the kneecap. Inhaling, drawing that knee as high as you can, bringing it towards the chest. We're standing up nice and tall here, still drawing in that belly, keeping that core nice and active. Inhaling, drawing the knee towards the chest. Exhaling, slightly letting it off. Two more of these, inhaling. And exhaling. And one more, inhale, really drawing it up. And then allowing for that leg to drop nice and slow with control back down to the ground. We've been at it for a little bit while. I encourage us to take a moment to check back in with the internal conditions of our body. We're gonna open our hands so that they're facing forward. Standing at a nice, gentle, easy position, nice and relaxed, not much activation, muscular activation here. Closing our eyes and beginning to tune in again with the sensations of our body. Starting at the bottom of our feet, moving into the calves. Taking note of the places where you noted before at the beginning of our practice. Noticing any heat that may have been created in the body, any other places that might still be holding tension. Just slowly moving through the body from the bottom of the feet to the back of the neck, just paying attention. And as always, taking those nice gentle inhales through the nose, and nice gentle exhales out the nose. Go ahead and begin to slowly blink our eyes back open if they're closed. Again, don't want to overload those eyes as they've been closed, blinking them and opening them with a gentle gaze. And go ahead and find ourselves in a warrior one position. We'll go ahead and have those feet at hips distance apart. We're going to go and step that right foot back about a foot and a half. Wiggle those front toes forward, back, back foot should be at about a 45 degree. Want to check in with those heels, making sure that they're in one, one nice uh, alignment with each other. 
I like to take my uh, hands, my palms to my hips, making sure that my fingertips are pointing directly over that knee, not off to the right or off to the left. Go ahead and press into that back foot and begin to bend that front knee, drawing that belly right now, rotating those shoulders back, pinching them together, and then you begin to inhale, drawing those fingertips up towards the ceiling. I'd like you to put a bend in your elbows here, drawing your elbows behind your head here, behind your back body, and then again, bringing them straight, not quite locking them out though, still bending the elbow. If you want a little bit more activation in your legs, begin to wiggle those left toes forward. Wherever you are, we're inhaling, reaching those fingertips up towards the ceiling, exhaling, seeing if you can put a little bit more of a bend in that front knee. <clears throat> want to make sure to be drawing in that belly, protecting the lower back here. Inhaling as always, bringing those fingertips up towards the ceiling, really reaching, pressing into that back foot, pr pressing, pressing backwards into the back foot and forwards into the for front foot, almost as if you wanted to rip your mat right in half here. Take one more big breath here, really reaching, reaching, reaching those fingertips towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, first dropping those hands to the hips, take that right foot and step very forcefully with that right foot and so that it matches with that left one. Do a little lap here, kind of shaking up those legs. Go ahead and move ourselves now over to that left hand side. Again, stepping that left foot back about a foot and a half, checking in with those heels, making sure they're in a nice line with each other, 45 degree on the back foot. And go ahead and wiggle those front toes forward if you want a little bit more activation here. Drawing in that belly, making sure our lower back's nice and safe here. Rotating those shoulders back, pinching them together, and then inhaling, bringing our arms up. Fingertips reaching towards the ceiling. Feel free to have a little bit more um, activation in your legs here by wiggling those right toes forward here. We're pressing into the back foot, pressing into the front foot as if we wanted to rip that mat in half, reaching those fingertips up towards the ceiling, drawing the belly in. Nice active core here. <coughs> Inhaling, reaching, reaching, reaching those fingertips as much as you can. Exhaling, seeing if you can put a little bit more of a bend in that front knee. Inhaling, drawing in that belly, making sure it's nice and active here. Exhaling, seeing if you can go a little bit more on that bend of that right knee. One more here, really reaching those fingertips. Exhaling, dropping them down. Getting our hands on our hips first, stepping forcefully with that left foot so that it matches with the right foot. We can go ahead and we can shake out those legs. <laughs> we'll bring ourselves back to that right foot. Still having those feet at hips distance apart. This time stepping that left foot back. Gonna have about the same formation as we did on the last time. Heels are still gonna be in line with each other, 45 degree, but a little bit less width between the feet here. Front leg is gonna be straight, but with a slight bend in the knee. Active calf, active thigh here. Checking in with those hips, making sure the fingertips are tracking directly over that knee. Going in and drawing that belly in, rotating those shoulders back, making sure we're standing up nice and tall. The image of having a, a rope pulling us from the top of our head Really nice long spine here, inhaling, reaching, and then as we exhale, beginning to bend at the hips over that front leg. Checking in with the alignment of the spine here, like us to inhale, coming up slightly, really reaching through the top of our head, nice and long spine here. And then as we exhale, hinging at the hip, keeping that length in the spine and coming over the, um, coming over the leg. You can bring your hands to your thigh here, or you can bring them down to the calf or maybe even to the ankle. Making sure to really focus on keeping that shoulder, fin shoulder blades pinching together here and reaching to the top of our head and bending ourselves and folding ourselves over this leg, feeling a nice stretch in the back of the leg here. It's always good to inhale a little bit up, check in with the length of the spine, and as you exhale, come down slightly again over that leg. We'll hold here for two more rounds of breath, inhaling and exhaling. One more round of breath, inhale. And exhaling. Pressing into that front foot, a little bit more bend in the knee, coming back up to that <coughs> standing position, stepping that left foot forward so that it then matches to next to the right. A little after pair if you wish for shaking out those legs. We'll go ahead now and step that right leg back. Heels again are in alignment with each other. Back foot's at about a 45 degree. Again, the feet are not as wide as the warrior one we were just doing. Checking in with our hips, making sure that the fingertips are tracking over that front knee. I'll go ahead and draw those shoulder blades together, pinching them together, standing up nice and tall. A little bit of a bend in that left front knee, but almost straight. 
And as we exhale, we can begin to drop over that left leg. Inhaling, coming up slightly, finding that length in the spine, reaching through the top of the head. And as we exhale, coming down. Inhaling again, coming up, finding that length and exhaling. Drawing that belly in, making sure that the core is nice and active here. Trying to square out those hips, especially when we come up, inhaling, squaring out those hips, making sure that they're lying towards the front of the mat. And as we exhale, coming down. We'll hold here for three more rounds of breath. Inhaling, trying to keep that length. Again, if you need a little extra support, having your hands on your thigh, on your shin, or on your ankle here. One more round of breath, inhaling. Exhaling. Pressing into that front foot, putting a little bit of a bend in that left knee, bringing ourselves back up to a standing position. Right foot steps forward, matching that left leg. Go ahead and shake that out. There is a practice here, and it's going to be interesting trying to do with this with you guys because I can't hear you, but we're going to try it anyway. There's a practice that I call Haas. I'm going to demonstrate what it looks like um, for you, but first I want us to do a little bit of preparation for us. There's a mudra, let me come close to this camera, where we're going to be touching, tucking our thumbs into our um, palms, and we're going to be wrapping the fingers around. We're going to be clenching so that there's some nice firmness in our, um, in our forearms here, but I don't want you pulling so hard that you're hurting the thumb joint right here. We have nice strength in our arms here. We're going to bring our feet out to wider than our uh, shoulders here. So the widest we've had them, and I want you to put point your toes slightly out, just less than, not quite a 45. We're going to have a good bend in our knees, almost as again as if we're going to sit in that chair, rotating those shoulders back. We're going to bring our arms up, and then we're going to kind of square curl them like this, drawing the shoulder blades together. At this point, this is where our arms are nice and strong. At this point, legs are getting really strong too. We're really activating that core. And if you can sit a little bit lower, there we are. And we're inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, really feeling that strength. And exhaling. One more. And on this inhale, inhaling, pressing those fists up as if you wanted to punch the ceiling. And then almost doing a pull-up position, pulling them down, keeping that strength in your arms so that eventually the fists are going to come to the outside of the thigh here. I'm gonna go ahead and shake that out. Let's do one more of these. We're gonna keep ourselves for about five rounds of breath on this one. Really feeling that strength as we're exhaling, really feeling that clenching, that muscular activation. Again, making the mudra by tucking those thumbs into our um, palms, wrapping the fingers around, <coughs> wrapping the fingers around the thumb now, having that strength in the forearms here, still having that hips distance or wider than hips distance feet. Um, toes are pointing out to the side. We're going to go ahead and again, put a little bit of a bend in the knees, rotating the shoulders back, pinching them together, inhaling, pressing those fists up. At this point, making the scarecrow arms, drawing those shoulder blades together, a little bit more of a bend in the knees, active core, active, active arms, nice and strong here, inhaling, and exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, really feeling that strength, inhaling, and exhale, two more. Big breath. And on this inhale, pressing those legs, keeping that nice strength in the legs, strength in the core, strength in the arms, pressing those fists up to the ceiling, doing that pull up, keeping those muscular activation, and then pressing the fists so they come down to the outside. Let's just stay here for a moment. Close your eyes and really feel the strength in your whole body, activating those legs, the core, your arms, really strong. Go ahead and release it. Go ahead and shake out that body. All right, I think I've built up a little bit of heat and a little bit of energy for this next practice, which I call Haas. I'm gonna demonstrate what it looks like first, and uh, then we'll get after it. We're gonna do three of these. Again, we're gonna be doing the same mudra as I was showing before, wrapping those fingers um, together, or wrapping the fingers over the thumbs, I said. And <coughs> we're gonna have about hips distance apart, a little bit of bend in the knees. We're gonna inhale those arms up, and we're gonna make a <laughs> If there's anything that you've been really, really frustrated by lately, anything that's kind of, you know, making you mad, whatever, you have a bit of a grievance, I'd encourage you to tune into that right now. And <laughs> as you go up and you take that nice inhale, bring that into your mind. And as you exhale, <sighs> haw that thing out and throw it out there. All right. It looks like you guys have already started to get to them a little bit. Let's see if we can do them together. It's kind of hard because I can't hear you guys. <laughs> 
All right, again, we're bringing those thumbs in to our, uh, into our palms, wrapping those fingers over the fingers, strengthen the arms, strengthen the legs, rotating those uh, shoulders back, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling for ha. This is another time for us to tune back into the sensations of the body. It's always nice to tune in after feeling something like a release like this, especially when we're able to yell. Closing those eyes, bringing the palms so that they're facing forward, nice, gentle, relaxed standing position here. And again, just paying attention to what's going on inside of your body. Noticing the difference after being able to uh, yell like this. It's not often as adults that we have an opportunity to to scream <laughs> to really to really release like this. So this is a moment where I always encourage us to pay attention to to the feeling, to the sensation of that. This is another moment where we can also check back in with the places where we noticed before and see if there's any difference. Notice if there's been a shift. Also paying attention to maybe <laughs> if there's a place where you're holding tension. Noticing like what the mind is doing, what the emotions might be doing. Just paying attention. The eyes are closed. You can begin to blink them back open. Bringing ourselves back to that standing position. We'll go ahead and begin to move ourselves down onto the mat. <laughs> Whichever way you feel comfortable, you can bring yourself down, see some forward folds taking place, whatever works for you. We'll go ahead and we'll set ourselves up into a tabletop position, bringing our bum first to <coughs> our bum first to our heels, stay rising tall, and bring our hands to the mat and begin to bring the bum off of the heels. Going ahead and checking in with the toes, tucking the toes underneath. We'll go ahead and first set up the base of our hands here, putting a little bit of a bend in the elbows, lifting the, the fingers up off the mat, spreading them as wide as we can, and then settling them back down into the mat, drawing the shoulder blades together, and then pressing into the palms, drawing, <coughs> drawing the arms so that they're becoming a little bit straight but not locking the elbows. I'm going to go ahead and make sure, again, that those toes are tucked underneath. want to draw that belly in. We're going to go ahead now, and we're going to bring in ourselves into some cat-cow, inhaling, bringing the gaze up, Slight bend in the lower back. Back of the head goes towards the middle of the back. And as we exhale, pressing into those palms, doing the opposite motion of those shoulder blades pulling together, rounding the back, inhaling, bringing the gaze up. Slight bend in the lower back. And exhaling, pressing into those hands, rounding the middle of the back here. Inhaling, allowing the belly to drop here. And exhaling, drawing the belly in, rounding the back. You can close your eyes here, and I encourage you to take five more of these at your own pace, following your breath, inhaling. Again, gaze comes up, back of the head goes towards the bum, slight bend in the lower back, belly drops, exhaling, belly draws in, middle of the back rounds. Taking your own, <laughs> your own cat cow here at your own pace, about three more at this point. All right, when you find yourself coming to the end of your five, go ahead and find yourselves at that original position, neutral back here. And I want us to begin by bringing our left leg so that it starts to point back. Toes are drawing towards the knee, heel reaching towards the back of your mat, or the back towards the wall. You can go ahead and you can add your arm in here by lifting that right arm, uh, right arm out, kind of like a pointer dog here. Pointing those fingers or reaching those fingertips towards the front of your mat while you're making that straight line with your back leg there, the heel reaching towards the back. Inhaling, really reaching through both sides, exhaling. You want a little bit of an extra thing here, inhaling, we can begin to draw that elbow towards the left knee here, right elbow to the left knee. And then inhaling, going back to the original position, fingertips reaching towards the wall, uh, heel reaching back, exhaling, drawing the elbow towards the knee. 
One more. And at this point, we can begin by bringing that right hand down, then we can drop that left knee to the floor. You can go ahead and check out that left arm if you want. I have a little bit of extra work there. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and uh, now going on to that other side. Right leg is going to come long, right heel reaching towards the back of the mat, uh, right toes bending towards the knee, reaching towards the knee. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring that left arm long, fingertips reaching towards the front while that heel is reaching towards the back. Nice long line here from the fingertips to the heel. We're inhaling, really reaching through both of those opposite, uh, opposite actions. Again, for a little bit extra, if you want, you can, on your exhale, draw that elbow towards the right knee, left elbow, the left knee, I mean right knee. Inhaling, bringing them back to the original position. Exhaling, <coughs> elbow to knee. Inhaling, fingertips reaching towards the front, heel to the back. Again, exhaling, drawing this uh, knee and the elbow together. Going back to our original position, fingertips reaching, heels reaching. Dropping first that left hand and then dropping the right knee. Go ahead and shaking out that right arm if you want. Still, the, still in our tabletop position here. We're going ahead and check in, make sure that those toes are still tucked. We're going to go ahead and we're going to begin to take a nice deep inhale here. And as we exhale, looking our way over to the left, uh, the left uh, pinky toes here. Inhaling, you come back through the center. Exhale, begin to lift, look now over to the right of the right shoulder. Going back through center, gaze comes through center as you inhale, and then as you exhale, looking over to that left pinky toe. Going back through center again, inhaling, bringing the gaze through the center, and then looking over that right shoulder towards the pinky toe. Nice side bends here. We'll go ahead and with your own pace of your breath, falling through three more rounds of, uh, of these. Inhaling, going through center. Exhaling, going over and looking to the right. Inhaling. And exhaling. We'll be coming in here to our last one, looking back over. Bring yourselves back in <laughs> to that, uh, back into that neutral position. At this point, I want you to walk your right hand forward slightly and your left hand forward slightly. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to begin to press so that our shoulders are underneath our palms. And I want you to step your right leg so that it comes between your hands. Bringing ourselves into an equestrian position. <laughs> We'll go ahead and drop the um, drop the shoulders back, rotating our shoulders back here, pressing into the toes of the back foot, making sure they're still tucked, so that we begin to feel uh, begin to feel a stretch in our left thigh here, our left hip flexor, I should say. Drawing in that belly, making sure the lower back is nice and safe here. Really trying to keep the spine nice and long, having just our gaze come up slightly. Inhaling, exhaling, <sighs> inhaling, reaching up. Keeping that leg, drawing that belly in, exhaling, seeing if you can put a little bit more of a bend in that right leg. Inhaling one more. And exhaling. And so now make sure that those palms can come back down to the floor first. We'll go ahead and step that right leg back. And still in that same position, palms are underneath our palms are underneath our uh, elbows here. I mean our shoulders here. Go ahead and make sure that right foot's tucked in this time, stepping that left foot forward so that it comes between our hands here. Go ahead and begin to press into the toes, uh, press into those right toes, beginning to feel the stretch in the front of our hip flexor here, drawing that belly in. Gaze is coming up, putting a little bit of a, uh, sorry, disregard. <laughs> Inhaling, we're looking up. Exhaling, we're pressing into that back foot, putting a little bit more of a bend in that left knee. Inhaling, making sure that belly's drawing in still. Pressing into those toes, exhaling. One more breath here, inhaling, really reaching. And exhaling. Palms are gonna come back down to the mat. We're gonna step that left leg back. And now I want you to push into those right hands. <laughs> I want you to push into your hands so that the, then the uh, bum begins to come down to the heel. 
Once the bum is on the heels, we can begin to drop our uh, chest onto the tops of our legs here. Forehead will come down to the mat. At this point, I'd like you to begin to slowly walk your fingers forward, just having a little bit more length in those arms, running ourselves in child's pose. Taking some nice deep breaths here, really trying to expand into that belly area. As you exhale, pressing into that core. Taking a few more gentle breaths here, inhaling. And exhaling. Expanding that belly as you inhale. And as you exhale, pressing in. On our next inhale here, I want you to begin to walk your fingers over to the right hand side so that eventually they're gonna come off the mat. You'll begin to feel a stretch in that left side body. Once you start to feel there, I encourage you to stop and just wiggle those fingers one more forward. As you're inhaling here, really feeling that side bend, really feeling the stretch in that space. Inhaling, seeing if you can maybe wiggle those fingers a little bit forward more. And exhaling. A few more rounds of breath here. Feeling that nice stretch in the side body. So you're inhaling, seeing if you can expand that belly as much as you can. Exhaling that air out. Or on your next inhale, beginning to walk those fingers back to the center of the mat. Once they find center, walking them forward just one more inch if you can, and then beginning to walk them now over to that right hand side or to that left hand side of your mat until eventually they'll come off the mat. And keep walking them until you start to feel that bend or that stretch in your side, in your right side body. Once you find that stretch, see if you can begin to walk those fingers forward slightly. We have a few more rounds of breath here, inhaling, really inhaling in <laughs> into that side body stretch, expanding that belly as much as you can, and exhaling. Your next inhale, see if you can walk those fingers forward just a little bit more, and exhale. Inhaling into that belly area and exhaling. One more big inhale here. Exhaling out all of your breath. And as you inhale, walking your fingers back to that center. <clears throat> Once they're in the center, seeing if you can walk them forward a little bit more, finding a little bit more openness in that upper back. One round of breath, and then as we find our next inhale, beginning to walk those hands one by one so that they come back towards the forehead, slowly pushing ourselves up back to a neutral spine. And go ahead and bring ourselves onto our bum now. A little bit of a bend in the knees here. If you want to have a little bit of a core exercise, the closer that your heels are, the harder this is going to be. So if they're close, to, they're close to your bum, it's going to be quite hard. If they're flat, it's going to be, if your legs are almost straight, it's going to be quite easy. Shoulders are back, bringing your um, fingertips so that they're reaching forward, finding where you want to have your feet, and then dropping yourself slowly, keeping yourself, your chest nice and open here, and dropping yourself back. Really active core here. Eventually, the lower back is going to want to go down onto the floor. Gravity will take its course. And then the middle of the back will come down and then the back of the head will come down as well. Now that we find ourselves on, on our back, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our left leg up. We're gonna cross it over the right knee so that the ankle is right above the right knee. We're gonna take our left hand, we're gonna thread it through that triangle that our legs have now made, and then the right hand is gonna go on the other side. We're gonna interlace those fingers behind the knee, and we're gonna to begin to draw that right leg back towards our body. 
We can use our elbow here to press into the left thigh, the left inner thigh. So we're pressing into that left inner thigh as we're drawing that right leg forward. We should feel a really nice stretch here in, um, in our left, uh, left buttocks. <laughs> Inhaling, seeing if you can draw that leg a little bit more, that right leg a little bit more to your, uh, to your body. Exhaling, letting off of it slightly. Inhaling, drawing that leg again towards the body. Exhaling, letting off of it slightly. And this one, inhaling, we're gonna hold here for two rounds of breath. Whoever's comfortable, you should feel a pretty strong sensation in that left, um, that left hip, that left butt, um, buttocks. As we find our next exhale, we go ahead and begin to let off of that. Unlacing the fingers from behind the knee, dropping the right uh, sole of the foot back to the mat. Left leg uncrosses off of the <coughs> off of the right knee. We'll go ahead and take that right leg long. We'll extend the left leg so that it makes an L with our body. Uh, toes are drawing towards the knee. Heel pressing towards the ceiling. Really trying to draw um, or press that heel. Uh, as if it wanted to touch the ceiling, really making sure that those toes are drawing towards the knee. If you want, you can bring your um, interlaced fingers behind the right underneath the uh, kneecap, <coughs> drawing the leg towards your body, pressing that heel towards the ceiling, drawing those toes towards the, um, towards the knee. And go ahead and begin to bend that left leg. Eventually, we'll go ahead and set that the sole of the left foot onto the mat. We can then take the right leg, crossing it over the left, uh, the, the right ankle over right above the left knee, taking that right hand, threading it through that uh, triangle we've just made with our legs, and then interlacing our fingers so that now um, both of them are behind the left thigh right below the knee. Going ahead and drawing that left leg towards the body. Again, you can take that right elbow and you can press into the inside of the, um, of the right thigh here. Opposite action here, drawing that left leg towards the body as you're pressing into that right thigh. Should feel a little bit of an extra stretch when you do that. You don't need to do that if you're already feeling some deep sensation in that right hip. We're inhaling, drawing that left leg towards our body and exhaling. Inhaling, drawing the left leg towards the body. As you exhale, allowing the uh, leg to come a little bit further away. One more of these, inhaling. Exhaling. Go ahead now and inhale and hold for two rounds of breath, drawing that leg towards, that left leg towards the body. Inhaling, trying to expand to that belly area as much as you can. And as you exhale, dropping the interlacing of the fingers from behind the left leg, the left uh, sole of the foot goes to the mat, uncrossing the right leg. We can bring that left leg long so that the heels on the, um, the heel of thigh are on the mat. Right leg comes long, making an L shape with our body. Right, uh, right toes are drawing towards the, the knee here. You can go ahead and press that heel towards the ceiling here as if the heel wanted to touch the ceiling. Nice straight, uh, nice straight leg here, a little bit of a bend in the knee. <laughs> if you want, you can interlace your fingers on the back of the thigh here and draw that leg towards your, uh, towards your body as if the toes wanted to touch your forehead. You have to be pretty flexible to do that though. <laughs> Inhaling, really pressing that heel towards the ceiling. Exhale, drawing that toe, those toes as if the toes wanted to touch the knee. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more inhale here. As you exhale, bending that right knee, the heel's gonna come, or the sole of the foot's gonna come down to the mat here. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead now, and we're going to bend both of our legs here, or we're gonna bend both of our knees we're going to reach our fingertips so that our heels are touching our, um, our, so our fingertips are able to touch our heels. I'd like us to take our right leg and cross it. You know, I'm going to change my mind. 
uh, we're going to bring our right leg um, long so that the heel and the back of the leg is on the mat. We're going to bring our arms out to a T. <laughs> we're going to use, or we're going to bring our right arm out to a T. We're going to take our left hand and we're going to bring the fingertips to the outside of the left knee. We're going to go ahead and we're going to begin to drop that left knee across the midline so that we begin to give ourselves a bit of a twist here. At this point, the left, um, <laughs> The left arm can go out to a T. I'm sorry, I made a little bit of a mistake here. And we can use that right, uh, those right hands on the outside of the left knee to begin to draw that left knee towards the ground. I want to check in with our left shoulder here, making sure that the shoulder is not lifting up off of the mat. If it is, bringing that left knee back towards the midline, rooting that right left shoulder down, and then beginning to pull that right knee over to the right side. We can go ahead and we can complete this twist by taking our gaze and looking over to those left fingertips. And as you're inhaling here, really trying to expand in that belly area as much as you can. And exhaling, seeing if that knee can go a little bit deeper. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more big inhale here. And exhale. Your next inhale, bringing that knee back to the midline, allowing that leg to go long so that it matches next to the right leg, left heel on the um, left heel on the back of the left leg on the mat here. Going ahead and bending that right knee now, taking that right arm out to a T, taking the left uh, fingertips to the outside of the left knee and beginning to drop that <laughs> that left or that right knee over to the left hand side across the midline completing the twist here by bringing our gaze so that it's looking off to the right hand side looking towards those right fingertips i want you to check in with your right shoulder blade here making sure that it's not lifting up off of the mat if it is bringing that right knee so that it's coming back to midline rooting that right shoulder down and then allowing for that right knee to again be pulled over with the left fingertips over towards the left hand side. Inhaling, really expanding into that belly as much as you can. As you exhale, seeing if that knee can go a little bit deeper, a little bit further down. Two more big rounds of breath here, inhaling, expanding into that belly as much as you can. Exhaling. One more big round of breath here. Exhaling, seeing if the knee can go just a little bit more. Holding here for one second. As our next inhale comes in, we can begin to bring that right knee back to the midline. Heel goes, a sole of the foot goes to the mat, bringing those legs on. And go ahead and take <coughs> both of our knees, both of our knees bending them, uh, interlacing our fingers on each of the bottom of below the kneecap. And Let's go ahead and just inhale, drawing our, our uh, foreheads up towards the knee. And as we exhale, drawing the knees a little bit closer to our chest. As we inhale, releasing, head goes back towards the mat a little bit. And then as we exhale, drawing those knees towards our chest, forehead towards the knee. And just one more of these inhaling, head goes to the mat. And as you exhale, draw those knees towards your chest, forehead towards your knees. We go ahead and set the soles of our feet back down so that they're right next to our bum. We should be able to touch our fingertips, uh, the fingertips of our heels, our fingertips with our heels, I should say. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring our palms to the outsides of our thighs. And I want us to press into the soles of our feet and into the um, palms of our hands and begin to thrust our hips forward as we inhale, raising them up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, allowing the bum to slowly drop back down towards the mat. Pressing into those heels, pressing into the soles of our feet, inhaling, thrusting those hips up towards the ceiling, a little bit of a bridge here. And then as we exhale, again, dropping the bum towards the mat. And this last one here, again, pressing into the soles of our feet, inhaling, bringing the hips flexors up to the ceiling. Now let's just hold here for one round of breath, really expanding into that belly area as we find our next inhale. And as we exhale, as slowly as you can, with as much control as you can, allowing the bum to come back down towards the mat with control. Uh, we're coming into the end of our practice now. 
So if there's anything else that you need to do to set yourself up for Shavasana, whether you want to take a happy baby or whatever, whatever the body's calling for, I encourage you to take, uh, take whatever extra stretches uh, you need right now. When you're ready, go ahead and setting yourself up for Shavasana. Back of your head on the, <coughs> the back of your head uh, on the mat. Arms out at about a 45 degree, palms facing up. Legs at about of a, a, their legs in a V position as well. Toes flying out to the side. Pinky toes going towards the floor. And this is the time for you to fully relax to allow the ground to hold you. Tuning into the sensation of that breath coming in and that breath going out. Often in these times of stillness, the mind likes to play its games and likes for you to try to pay attention to it. I encourage when this does take place, because we're always gonna have thoughts to come back to your breath, noticing that inhale coming in and that inhale going out. We'll be here for a few moments. Feel free to fully relax. Fully allow, to fully allow yourself to lay here with no muscular activation. And we're ready. Uh, when we're ready to come out, I'll let you know.
Begin to slowly bring some movement back into your fingers and into your toes. Allow that motion to move into your palms, the soles of your feet, your ankles, and your wrists. Eventually that movement will move into the rest of your body. If you feel, uh, if you feel like you want a little bit of a morning stretch, bringing your arms up over your head. Give yourself a nice big stretch there. And when you're ready, roll, rolling yourself over to the right or left side of your um, body onto one hip. Once you're there, you can go ahead and you can draw those knees towards your chest, even hugging your knees towards your chest. Putting yourself in that nice fetal position. A reminder of comfort and safety. And whenever you're ready, bringing yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. I'd encourage you to try to keep your eyes closed if you can for the remainder of the practice. We'll go ahead and we're gonna bring our hands together so that the palms are together with each other and let's just begin to rub our hands together, creating a little bit of heat. After about five or 10 seconds here, we're gonna to start to notice that heat building. Once you really feel that, go ahead and close those eyes as if they're not already closed and take the palms and very gently press the palms into the eye sockets here over the closed eyes. And very slowly dropping those palms over the cheekbones, under the chin, allowing the hands to come over the neck, onto the shoulders, down the arms, on the chest, down the core, just very slowly feeling this body that just did this practice this morning and giving yourself a little bit of gratitude for showing up this morning and doing something good for yourself. I'd like to finish with one more mantra. <laughs> mantra of Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Shanti, Shanti often is translated in our language as peace. It's really more of um, an escape from the dichotomy of life, of seeing everything as right or wrong, black or white, this or that. Shanti is a reminder for us to try to see things just as they are. The cadence of this mantra goes as such. Om Shanti, Shanti. Shandhi. I can't hear you, but we can all chant this together. Taking a nice inhale. And exhale. Inhaling for mantra. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. May this be a reminder for us. Namaste means I bow to the light in me as it exists inside of you. Namaste. And thank you for this opportunity to be able to have this internet or this uh, virtual experience with you guys. <laughs>